In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create this random background color using simple JavaScript. So what I have done, I had put a concept like math random objects and the events concept together to build this project. So let me teach you how I created this project using math random object as well as the event concept in JavaScript. So what I have done, I have created one button here. Every time when I click on this button, you will see that the background color has been changing. So this is what we are going to be building in this tutorial. So without further ado, let's get started. So if you can notice one thing in my HTML, I have only one button. If you can see them here, I have only one button labeled as change color as you can see them here. And then I add bit of styling for that. It's like margin 10 pixel font size and font white and padding. All you need to focus is on the JavaScript part because every time when I click on this button, I want these background colors to be changing. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to my JavaScript file. So initially what I'm going to do, I'm going to target this button because every time when I click on this button, that's when I want to make changes in the color, right? So to target that button, I'm going to create a variable. Let me say let button. I'm going to target that button with the help of document.query selector method. And then I'm going to target the button. Now I'm going to make use of the random object method in JavaScript. We already had a tutorial for the same. In case if you want to generate a random number between two numbers, how to create. We have already learned that one, right? In case if you missed that video, kindly watch that video so that you can be able to understand this concept easily. So what I'm going to do, let me create a function for the random method so that I can create the random colors. So here I'm going to take a parameter as number. Remember. Uh, in the previous tutorial, we have learned about mean and max where if you want to generate random number between two numbers. So here, the argument is very important because we are going to generate different colors. So here, the argument would be the color. If you want to generate a random number, we are going to pass the number so that we can generate a random number. So here, we are going to generate a background color. So this argument has to be a color. So we will create just wait. So here, as usual, I'm just going to use the written function. I'm going to use math.flow to round off the values. So inside, I'm going to have the random function. So here I'm, go I'm going to say math.random and then I'm going to multiply with the number parameter. Right? Now, I'm going to create a function uh, which can help us to change the background color. So here I'm going to create a function uh, let me call this function as background so inside this function what I'm going to do I'm just going to create another variable let me say a random color as the name of the variable equals so what I'm going to do here I need to pass the colors like every time when I click the button the color has been changing where am I going to get the color from so I'm going to make use of the RGB color code with the help of RGB color code, I'm going to generate this random color. So I'm going to use RGB. So here I'm going to make use of the random method. So this RGB is the value for this parameter number here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do plus random. So here I'm going to pass the RGB value 255. Then I have to put the, remember I have to put the comma in between because Remember, if you want to generate a random number between two numbers, you have to separate them with comma 1, comma 10. So even here, if you want to generate a random color, that thing has to be separated with a comma so that you can have different colors. So again, I'm just going to use random. Here, I'm going to pass 255. I'm sure that this is just a color code. I'm sure that you already know. So here, I'm just going to use the comma to separate. So again, another random. We are done. All you need to do is so now we need to apply this color to the background. So in order to do that, document dot where do you want to apply them to the body, right? So body dot we are going to apply the style uh, is going to be the background color equals where are we going to get the background color from? From this particular variable, right? So just type the name of the variable. That's it. Then all you need to do is you just have to call the event to make changes. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to call the events. So how, how to call the events? Just one is simple. We have already learned in the previous tutorial. Like I'm going to use this btn dot add event listener method. 
so this add event listener method is going to take two parameters one is an event so let me say in this case when i click the button i want to make changes so which function are you going to call this same function background isn't it so so just copy and paste them here because this is a function you are going to call uh, when you click on that button right uh, i think we are done we are good let me save and refresh let's see how does this one look like so when i click here you see the color is been changing now i hope you know how to make use of the concept like a random object method as well as how to make use of the events to create this simple project if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button for more tutorial videos please do subscribe beginners guide thank you